guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to do a whole video. I actually filmed this yesterday and then thought, oh I'm so bored of doing a haul. I mean I haven't done a haul in ages. I'm so bored of doing them in that way where you sit down and show it to the camera and then do a cutaway. So I thought I may as well just try everything on that's new, show you how I'm styling it up, talk through it a little bit rather than do cutaways with me sat down. I feel like it's sort of made a bit more sense. So that's what we're going to do. It's all spring, summer stuff. I've got absolutely loads of things here. Um, I've just been shopping like mad and I've also been very kindly sent quite a lot of things recently. I think it's because it's the new season coming in. So I've got loads and loads to show you basically. Let me know what you think of this format. Maybe I could do it as like a monthly thing of showing you everything that I end up acquiring clothing wise within a month. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. So Lots of high street as well, actually. I'm going to start with Topshop, which is this skirt. It's so, so cool. It's this white ruffled mini skirt. It's also available in black and gingham. And I actually would recommend those colours over the white because this is quite see-through. So, oh, do you know what? I actually think I've got black knickers on right now. So you'll probably be able to see the knickers through this. But when I wore it in real life, just got back from Madrid and I wore it then, you have to wear nude knickers with this out and about. I completely forgot right now. Um, and you also can't tuck in a dark coloured top, hence why I've got this nude knit on, which is just from Made Well, I've had it for ages. Um, but yeah, that's the downside to it, it's kind of a bit of a high maintenance piece. If you are self-conscious of it, don't just throw on a jacket, but I think it's a really flattering, very cute, girly piece. Um, styling wise, this one is good for daytime and evening, so let me just grab my jacket. So, for my daytime look, I've just got on my Vans Old School, trusty Vans Old School, and then this long line denim jacket, which also helps to cover your bum a little bit, so if you've got the knicker problem or a top showing through or anything like that. Um, so this would be a nice casual look. This jacket is from Topshop, it's also new, this denim jacket, it's nice and oversized. And then also for an evening look, I'm going to show you now a blazer and some pumps. So for the smarter look, I've just switched out my Vans old school for these old Aquazura nude pumps. I really love these shoes. And then, this is also quite old now, this um, linen mix is Morant blazer. I really like this. I think because you've got to go for quite a light nude or white base with this skirt, it's kind of then quite easy to throw on any jacket or shoes that you fancy. But yeah, as I said, if you don't feel like you like wearing a very light base then go for the black or the gingham one i'll pop links for them in the description box as well so next we've got two pieces to share the first is this insane blazer this is from sandro it's actually part of a two-piece so it comes with some clock trousers as well but the jacket is my favorite bit from it and i like the white buttons they've got fluff all over this i like the white buttons i feel like it just makes such a statement and it feels super spring it's a really nice to fit to it. It's a little shorter in the body than I normally go for with blazers. It's not as long line as usual, but I absolutely love it. It kind of gives it a really boxy feel, which is just really good. Um, and then the other new piece that I'm wearing here are these super cool trousers from Under the Stories. They've got an elasticated waist, which isn't my favorite thing. So I always tend to go with something untucked because I just don't find it super flattering to be able to see that band of elastic. Um, but it does make them comfortable, so swings and roundabouts really. And the thing that I like about them, they've got this sort of like crochet style panel down the side, which also goes onto the cuff too. Um, so then the other negative thing about this is that if you were going to wear like big knickers or anything, you'd be able to see it through the side panel. So that's another reason why it's good to wear a longer top. Um, and then I just have on a silk shirt, which is from and other stories as well, actually. And my Gucci loafers, um, but I do feel like this outfit, this um, blazer in particular, would look really good with denim. So I'm just going to quickly try on a denim outfit with this one too. And for an outfit with the denim, I've just got on a blouse, a polka dot blouse from Finery London. This is quite new as well actually, and it's got this big ruffle here. It's really, really, really nice, really flattering. I've been really liking it. It is best worn without a jacket, so you can sort of see the shape, but looks good under stuff as well. Um, then some old straight leg Levi 501s. I'm just going to wear these uh, Saint Laurent pumps. I've had these for absolutely ages. I don't really wear heels like this anymore, but I do still really love them. So, one second, I'm just about to get a bit taller. There we go. I don't know if my head will be in shot now. I might have just taken myself out of the shot. But this jacket is just 
insane the shade of it does look really great with denim i really like this outfit and you could just wear the gucci loafers again if you didn't fancy making it quite so smart but i hope you guys like this one i think it's so nice and the back of it is gorgeous as well it's just got the most amazing fit to it so sandro jacket binary top and those and other stories trousers which i love i've got loads of stuff from and other stories actually so i'll show you something else from there now quick sip of coffee and um, so the next thing from under the stories is this really 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 cool bright red shirt jacket style thing I'm quite into this style of jacket at the moment for spring they're really easy to throw on with whatever you fancy um, and obviously it's bright red which is one of the colours of the season and I'm really into it I think you might have heard me say before that I'm massively into the red and pink trend and um, it's got a really good structure to it I mean I hope you can see down the back a little bit it's got a certain quite structural weight to it it's a really soft cotton fabric as well with these two big utility style pockets which are functional they've got buttons that open up at the front and then the dark tortoiseshell button running down the front as well and um, it's definitely quite bright i'm not sure if it was available in other colors but the red is completely what sold it to me and to just wore, wear it with the sleeves turned up a little bit like this Guys, if you can hear banging outside, I'm sorry, there's loads of building work going on. Um, but yeah, I've got it on with a pinky red t-shirt from Urban Outfitters. The jeans are also something I wanted to talk about. These are new from H&M. Um, I did a sponsored video with them last week, and this is one of the items that were in it. They're my favourite piece, because these are some of the best fitting jeans I've ever had. And I've never found jeans that fit me this well from H&M before. I'm obsessed with them. They're this white straight leg style, but I hope you can see just how flattering they fit over the waist and the over my bum and the crotch and everything like that it's kind of really flat or it's just so flattering and then they've got crazy frayed hems down the bottom which I absolutely love as well so I wanted to mention these again because they fit insane and then I've just worn it with my Superga canvas trainers that were from Testing Basics so yeah what do you guys think of this would you wear it or is it too bright I think I'm just going to go for it as much as I can and it would look good with blue denim as well you wouldn't have to wear it with white denim so just keeping on the white jeans a while longer I also have this really cute top from under the stories as well again red and pink this is super girly and it's something that I think I'd feel most comfortable in on holiday but I'm about a year late but I've gotten into the off the shoulder trend it took me long enough and I feel like it is just something very feminine about it which I do like but for some reason for my day-to-day -day, out and about in Manchester getting stuff done I think I'd be a bit uncomfortable in this so it might be more of a holiday one however when worn with a jacket it kind of feels different so my initial thought was to go with this leather jacket but actually I think it would also work with the red one I just tried on I only bought this one yesterday actually so I'm excited to see how many different ways I can wear it um, but yeah, I feel like it would kind of work with that, but because I've got on some black Converse, the leather jacket is the one that I'm thinking it might be best with. So, I've still got on the um, straight leg jeans from H&M, and I've tucked the top in a tiny bit in the front, just because I really like how these fit over the crotch, so I wanted to show that off a little bit. And then some scruffy Converse to kind of counteract the girliness of the top. So I would definitely wear it out and about in Manchester like this. But I feel like it defeats the object at the top because you can't see the off-the-shoulder detail. So it might be more of a holiday piece for me. But it's, I really like it. It's girly, so it's quite fun to style up in a little bit of a tougher way and things like that. Okay, guys, back to skirts for a second. This is an exact outfit that I wore in Madrid, and I really liked it, so I want to show you it again. The new things are the skirt, which is from Topshop uh, Boutique. Yeah, that's right. And it's like a knitted asymmetric kind of just makes you want to wiggle and dance and um, ribbed what have i said knitted yep midi it's got a lot going on basically it has tons more fabric on this side so it gives it a really nice weighted feel and it also gives it a certain width over the calf which i find really flattering because then the thinnest part of your leg is showing through your ankles and it sort of cinches in your waist by being wider through the calves. It's just super flattering and I really like it. And elasticated waistband. So I wore it with, I've got so much stuff in my hand. I wore it with um, these shoes, which are also new, also from Topshop. They're a slip-on mule, knitted fabric, um, very much in the style of that design, uh, number 21, which is probably French, so it's probably like 
Vantitta and not actually 21 but I'm not sure. Um, these are comfortable. The one thing I would say is that wear a plaster on the outside of your big toe because this section that your toes come through is quite narrow so it does niggle the side of your toe a bit but if you just wear a plaster then they're absolutely fine and they're easy to walk in. I walked in these apps all day long when we were in Madrid and they are so easy. I absolutely love how they look with denim as well. And another thing that I got new in Madrid were these sunglasses. So as I said, this was the exact outfit that I wore. These are from Loewe. Um, and when we were there, that's the thing that I was the most excited to go and see, to go to the Loewe, not most excited, that's a bit sad. But one of the things I was the most excited was to go to the Loewe shop because the shop fit is absolutely beautiful. It was such a treat to actually go and see them. So I picked up some sunglasses. I was quite restrained. And they're these, they're absolutely massive, tall to shell. I'm worried I'm too tall with these shoes on one sec. Maybe that's better. Um, and yeah, huge, really flat along the top. I really, really like them. So these are one of the treats that I picked up in Madrid. And actually I've got one more thing to show you that I bought in Madrid, so I'll show you that one now. So the other thing that I bought in Madrid were these insane shoes. They're from Dries van Noten, which I hope I'm pronouncing right. And they are this awful color that I love, like a mustard yellow. Um, backless shoe, they have this lace which goes around the back of your ankle once and ties at the front and this really cool curved heel which is insane. These are so easy to walk in, I walked for absolutely miles in these when I wore them, I wore them the day after I bought them, really really easy to walk in and they seem to go with everything that I've been trying them on with, I've been trying them on with quite a few outfits for this video and they work well with denim which I'm going to show you now but I also wore them with a skirt when we were in Madrid um, and yeah, I absolutely love them. So these were the other thing that I bought. I'm just gonna pop them on now. The other new thing that I'm um, wearing is this mango jacket. You might have seen it already if you um, follow me on Instagram because I've been wearing it absolutely loads. It's like a cropped cotton trench style jacket with big black buttons. It's just really, 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 really flattering. I got it in a small, and I think I could have got an extra small because it is quite oversized, but it's got these great details over the cuff and just goes with everything. So I've been really, really loving this. And then the other new thing, so many new things, guys, honestly, it's crazy, um, is this from Under the Stories 2. I bought this yesterday morning when I got the red jacket. It's just a super simple zip-up knit. You could wear it as a cardigan, I guess. I liked the idea that you could have it as a high neck, but also zip it lower if you fancied it. And then it's got these gorgeous split cuffs, which is one of the details I really liked. Um, I thought this was good, you know, when it's kind of warm enough to just wear a thin knit and no jacket. It was a bit interesting and quite flattering. So just worn this whole look with my Marge kick flare. No, they're not Marge. Emma, no, yeah, they are Marge kick flare jeans. Um, I've lost a bit of weight recently, so not many of my jeans actually fit me, but the, this pair still fit really well so yes this is this one the shoes are the highlight of this definitely so while I've still got on those Marge jeans I thought I'd show you this shirt this is from Topshop and I don't sure if it is boutique I can't remember or if it's just normal I can't remember but it's so cool do you know my favorite thing about this is it's a crinkly fabric that doesn't need ironing thank the heavens the number of times I want to wear a shirt but can't be asked to ironing it is embarrassing because I hate ironing and I'm really bad at it so this is iron free, which is, it might be how I shop from here on in. Does it need ironing? Yes, well, I'm not having it then. Um, but in real life, it is a blue and white striped shirt. The cuffs are my favorite thing about this. It's kind of got a double layered cuff and also the most incredible stepped hem down the back, which gives it a super oversized feel. This would be great on holiday if you don't like showing too much skin, but like to feel nice and cool. Um, but with a jacket over it would look just as good as well. So I've just worn it with the Marge jeans, as I said, and those Topshop blue shoes again, the blue slip-on mules. And I really like this outfit. I actually might wear this today, this very day. How exciting, because um, this is just so cool and comfy. Kind of looks like pyjamas, but in a good way. I hope we agree in a good way. And finally, last but not least, I have another skirt. This one is from Mango. This was the other thing that I bought in Madrid. So I bought three things in Madrid my shoes, my Loewe sunglasses, and this skirt. And then on the second day, I wore the shoes and the skirt and the sunglasses together. Because when I have something new, I like to wear it instantly. It's just a really nice skirt. It's really soft cotton material with these frayed edges, really easy to wear. I've just got it on with the um, pinky red t-shirt that I had on earlier, a yellow jacket, which is from 
jigsaw and then the Dries shoes again. So yes, that's the final outfit. I really hope you've enjoyed this video guys. I've been trying really hard to sort of wear slightly different stuff for spring um, and just feel a bit fresher with my wardrobe. Not so many jeans and t-shirts, although I will always wear jeans and t-shirts if we're being honest. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. Links for everything in the description box. Let me know how you feel about this format as a whole. Would you rather I go back to the old way or do you think this is a bit more exciting? And any questions about sizing, I'll leave the sizes for everything written alongside the products in the description box if you're interested. Nothing else to say on that one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.